I studied health economics uh, in college and my graduate degrees in uh, health economics and became a healthcare consultant uh, back in the late 80s. Mo worked in the U.S., moved to London with my husband, cut my teeth in consulting when Mrs. Thatcher was prime minister and came home. And then it was in the U.K. really where I first worked with healthcare computing. Not in the U.S. We were not caring about computers then. But in the U.K., because it's a single payer, they had to manage in a budget. So they had to start counting money and looking at clinical outcomes, duh. They've been doing that for over 20 years now since I started in the business. So came home and really uh, took on projects that focused on the intersection of people and technology and health. And now work with the whole ecosystem, not just in health IT. I do a lot of work with pharma and biotech, with nonprofits and foundations, and with providers, payers, and yes, technology, and even food companies now. I'm working a lot in the area of health, not just health care. I've been in healthcare uh, in different uh, related facets probably since 2000, and uh, healthcare, health, healthcare IT has got the most innovation happening. You know, and uh, it's fun to find out how healthcare can be improved or made easier, or workflow, or things can be enhanced with technology. And technology is always been something I grew up with when I was a kid. My dad always had the first computer, the first handheld toy games, stuff like that. So I've always been into technology and it just it was a natural fit. For I me. was actually an English major. I have a, a master's in rhetoric and composition. And I um, taught my first graduate English class in 1997. And halfway through that semester, I decided that I couldn't read another sentence that the students r had written. It's, um, it was not for me. Teaching was not my calling. And I took my first web development course the, the next semester. And my professor in that course happened to have a side consulting business. And he hired me halfway through. So that's how I kind of fell into IT. And then um, maybe five years later, I got a consulting opportunity to manage projects for uh, Blue Cross of Florida in their data warehousing department. And that launched my fascination with, with health IT. So um, I've, never, I've never looked back. I think that the growth opportunity in this industry is tremendous and it's very fulfilling because I can see the results of my work every day in my life and the lives of the people I love.